Right, greetings church. Uh, this is number two in our series of six on the armor of God. And today we're going to do a shortish devotional. So I'm going to read the whole of Ephesians 6, 10 through to 20 again. Um, in actual fact, uh, I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to do it every single morning. Uh, let's get into the word, isn't it? It's great to, to break bread together. Are you ready church to be discipled? Let's be discipled. Ephesians 6, 10 through to 20 from the New King James Version. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith with you, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication, for all the saints and for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And our, our verse for this morning is, or for today, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We're going to talk on our, our feet that are fitted today. You see, with Jesus holding our lives and his word in our hearts, Paul instructs us next to have our feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Armed with the truth and pure hearts, the Lord wants us to join his mission. You see, church, the Lord always has work for us to do. The Lord always has work for us to do. We are to be ready for action moving in sync with the Holy Spirit. We are to, as 2 Timothy 4.2 tells us, 2 Timothy 4.2 tells us, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long-suffering and teaching. You see, as the living water flows through us, we are to be ambassadors for Christ. As the living water flows through us, we are to be ambassadors for Christ. You see, we call this ministry because we all have a sphere of influence. And your sphere is your primary mission field. It's your ministry. And so as we stay active in the Lord's work, He protects us. It's hard for the enemy to hit a moving target, isn't it? Let me repeat that for you. It's hard for the enemy to hit a moving target. The preparation of the gospel of peace with which the Christian soldier's feet are to be shod is an offensive item of warfare. We go on offense. The Great Commission is a call to active service in spiritual attack upon the kingdom of darkness and not attempted self to be to, at self-preservation. Matthew 28, 18 tells us this, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Therefore go, go therefore, and make disciples. Amen and Amen. You see, Christ's statement 
found in Matthew 16, 18. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And that suggests to me an offensive attack upon the evil one by the church, rather than the church's defense against evil. It is the gates of hell that will not be able to hold out against the attacks of the church, and not vice versa. Rather, the believing soldier's feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. It suggests this militant Christian. And I'm reminded of a wonderful hymn as we close. Onward Christian soldiers marching as to war With the cross of Jesus going on before Christ the royal master leads against the foe Forward into battle see his banner go. Isn't it a great church to be part of the church of Christ? Onward Christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. Christ the royal master leads against the foe. Forward, forward into battle see his banners go. Shall we pray? Father, we pray that we'd be, that we'd be always forward-looking, looking to the will of our God as we, as we step out, Lord. May our shoes be fitted with a gospel of peace as we impact this world for our God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Amen.